Hi, Mr. Arkett here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to perform a macro in Cocoon. All right, so I have this blog that I've written here about performing a macro in uh, NeoVim, Nano, and Micro, and also I included a section on Cocoon. And I didn't include any paragraph tags because I was just writing it quickly and I just wanted to get it done. So I'm going to start to clean this blog up a bit by including some paragraph tags using a macro. So to start recording the macro, I'm going to type, uh, I'm going to be, make sure I'm in no normal mode. Okay. And then I'm going to type shift Q and now I'm recording the macro. Uh, to go to the start of the line in Cocoon, I'm going to type G H and then I to insert. And then I'm going to type my paragraph tag. Uh, I want to get back to normal mode for a minute, so I'm going to hit escape and then shift A to move to the end of the line, in, uh, and that'll put me back in insert mode, and then I'm going to close my paragraph. I'm then going to hit escape and hit J, J to move down to the next line, and I want to stop the macro at that point, so I'm going to hit shift and Q. Okay, so I'm stopping recording. Now, I want to do this for three more lines, so I'm going to type just three and Q, and that puts in three lines, and then now I have two paragraph lines, so I'm going to do two and Q, okay? So let's move down, We're cleaning up this blog. Uh, let's see how many paragraph tags do I have here, another two. So I'm going to hit two Q, okay? And then I've got one, two, another two, so just to Q again. Okay. Uh, moving past this list, I've got one, two, three, four. So four Q. Okay. And got two here. So two Q. Okay. Now um, I'm going to fix up the list in a minute. So we'll go back to that. But I've got uh, two paragraphs here. So two Q. Uh, another two paragraphs here. So two Q. Okay. And I've got a list. I've got a fixed up and just uh, one line here. So just Q. Okay. So now I want to fix up my list. So I'm going to move up to the top list here and I'm going to record another macro. Okay. So for this one, I have all my periods at the end of my list items. So I don't have to take care of that. But in the next list, I don't have a period. Okay. So I'm going to hit shift Q to start recording. Uh, I want to make sure I'm in normal mode. So I hit escape and then G H to move to the start of the line. Then I to insert, I'm going to put my opening list item tag. Then I'm going to hit escape to go back to normal mode and then shift a to move to the end of the line and that puts it in insert mode at the end of the line. So now I'm going to close that list item and I'm going to hit escape and then go down one line and I'm going to stop my recording here. So shift Q. Oops, I messed up. So I stopped recording for a minute. So I'm going to have to do that again. Okay. Uh, so make sure you're in normal mode. What I did is I escaped out of the recording. Okay. So that could happen. All right, so again, let's go through the process because this is informative. So GH to move to the start of the line, I to insert. I'm going to insert my list item, escape, shift A to move to the end of the line, and then close my list item, escape to back to normal mode, down the line. Let's uh, stop my macro at this point, so shift Q. Okay, now I want to do that three times. So I'm going to do three Q, okay? So now I've got my list items. All right. Now I could do that for this one, but in this case, I've got, I missed a period for all of these end sentences. Okay, so I'm going to record another macro. So I'm going to hit Shift Q, GH to move to the start of the line, I to insert, insert my opening list item tag, hit Escape back to normal mode, then Shift A to move to the end of the line, period, then my closing list item, escape back to normal mode, J to go down, 
and shift Q to stop recording. And I want to do this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. So I'm just going to type eight Q and boom, I've inserted all uh, my closing uh opening and closing list item tags, as well as a period. And you'll see that cleaning up that blog post where I had no tags written in there, because it's a pain to write the tags. It's it's kind of, uh, it bugs my fingers sometimes to write the opening and closing tags all the time. Uh, if you don't want to use Emmet um, to do that, even Emmet, you know, you have to hit P and tab. Or in Vim, you hit P, control, Y, and comma. Um, this even streamlines the process quite a bit more. So uh, it's very easy to do. Uh, one suggestion that I would uh, suggest for doing this is to have your um, stuff not indented um, before you run the macro. Now, if I wanted to clean this up further, I could include into the macro where I'm properly indenting my HTML. Uh, but if you're writing a blog post for yourself, you might not even want to indent. Uh, but if you're working with other developers, then you certainly want to follow their formatting guidelines. Uh, anyways, I hope this was helpful and shows you how a text editor like Cocoon or Vim uh, running a macro can be uh, super productive in writing your blog post. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe as it really helps the channel grow. Have a great day.